what's going on guys so I'm back today with a tour of my hobby room and my basement I haven't done one since I started my channel so I figured I uh, I think it's time to do it so let's get started over here I got my I got my Traxxas Spartan I got the atomic barbed wire and a bunch of quad toppers there. I got the uh, Sama X11, the JJRC H20, the Hubsod X4 back there. There's another Sama X11, and there's the Sama X12 nano quadcopter. Uh, what else we got? Let me focus this thing. My Sama F3s. These little babies, man. <laughs> These are what got me into uh, helicopters. They were my first helicopters. Well, fixed pitch helicopters, and I love them so much. That's why I have four of them. And they're they're the ones that really taught me how to fly helicopters. These things, I flew the crap out of them, crashed them. They're durable. Just basically taught me the the basics of flight. You know, helicopter flight. Uh, but awesome little helicopters so one up here is my smaller helicopter collection uh, I got a bunch of them here um, from the nano CPX on down to there's my uh, I love this thing the uh, T-Rex 250 DFC love it and some of my beginner ones over here which you know they they basically trained me and I learned off these helicopters to move on to the the bigger boys which you'll see later there's on top of my fridge old fridge here is my transmitters a ton of them Let me get up here higher so you can see them but yeah way too many transmitters uh, got an old fridge down here that we keep our backup stuff in Alright, on to the table here. We got probably just recently watched a video of this one. My old school uh Traxxas Rustler build, which I am having a blast with this with this uh car. Love it. Here is an old uh team associated RC ten TC3 that I'm working on. Trying to get that back up and running. So that'll be cool. There is one of my T-Rex 500 ESPs with the fly bar. I love those helis. Over here is the other one, which I've crashed several times and rebuilt. <laughs> That's the uh, price you pay when you when you want to learn how to fly uh, collective pitch helis. You are going to crash, believe me. Um, there's the one that started it all for collective pitch for me was the uh, HK 450 great little heli and there's a heli max transmitter that came with one of my uh, my micro helis up there the axe one axe 100 I can't remember the name of it but uh, yeah, I use that transmitter a lot for, you know, flying planes and I actually used it on that uh, HK450 heli. It's a cool little transmitter. Uh, there's my DX6i, which I use as the main transmitter I use. The DX6i. Use that for pretty much all my helicopters now. And got a mess here. Batteries. Batteries, 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 chargers, 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 tools, just a big cluster of stuff I need to get organized here. Okay, uh, over here we got the Team Associated RC10B3, which you know, I made a few videos a while back when I started my channel with this baby. With a, 50, with a 5700 kV motor in it and it flew Whew. right now there ain't nothing in it but I'm gonna get that back up and running sometime the old uh, Red Cat Tornado uh, EPX 
I had a few videos of that running as well pretty quick there's the old school uh, uh, Duratrax Evader which my daughter just drove in the latest uh, three girls equals video there is my Kyosho Rage love that little car not super durable but it is a great great running car okay what we got back here in this corner jammed I got uh, some old Skyfly uh, some old Skyfly uh, airplanes from back in the day and there's a beginner coaxial helicopter hanging there Sima not sure what it was what the name of uh, the name of it was there is my latest uh, airplanes I just got which I am in, having a blast with these airplanes the um, fly zone air core uh, so much fun man and they're right now tower hobbies has them half off so that's why I got three of them and they fly so beautiful I'm having fun with these things we got the uh, p51 Mustang the uh, Spitfire and the uh, German uh, Oh man, I just woke up so I can't think of names right now. The German World War II fighter plane. Okay, and there's my old Skyfly that I use mostly. Still flies pretty good. But after flying these things, <laughs> I doubt I'll be flying that much anymore. Okay, down here, there's my old uh, Team Losi Triple XT uh, truck that I'm working on right now. I got a few things to do to that. Uh, a bunch of spare batteries my DJI Phantom there's a transmitter to it right there and there's my beloved Traxxas Summit love that truck amazing such a beast uh, there we got my Alfna Ultra LX2E love that buggy it's a beast for sure I really uh, bashed the crap out of it over the years and it's held up great uh, over there, I am working on my arm of granite. I just keep breaking that thing left and right because I, I have, have a, uh, right now I have a uh, 5700 kV motor in that and it's just <laughs> way too much power for it. It just, it's crazy powerful. I think I might downgrade actually, so I stopped breaking the thing. Okay, so up top, let me go over this side. Do, do, do. Yeah, there's the uh, Arma Granite with the Mamba Max, Mamba Max 5700 kV motor. So, yeah. Check out them Warbirds, man. <laughs> they are cool. Alright, so up here, let me focus in. I have a fly bar list of I don't have this one up and running yet. T uh, T Rex 450 uh, fly barless helicopter that I bought on eBay. It was just the uh, just the frame, nothing else. So got to get that up and running. And there is my T Rex. Well, you can't really see too good with that light. T Rex 550E DFC. Whew. What an amazing helicopter right there. Such an amazing helicopter. Uh, the the Traxxas uh, Slash two-wheel drive. That little baby, whew, that little baby will not break. I've tortured that thing over the years. Now I am only running a brush motor in it, so you know that makes a difference. But jumping it off the roof, I got videos of that. Um, just everything. It, it takes a beating. Great car. Over there. Uh, the uh, HPI Apache C1 Flux. Uh, it's a cool car, uh, not a good jumper, but so much power and just fun to drive around. Back in the corner, that's my uh, TC3, the associated TC3 body. So, um, besides that, I got boxes in the corner. I got, let's see, I got boxes. Boxes, boxes, boxes underneath the table here. I keep this, the whole underneath of the table is packed full of boxes, which I need to go through. 
and pitch what I don't need. But uh, yeah, uh, down here I got tools, tools and stuff like that. Um, and then these cupboards actually have a bunch of transmitters and parts and stuff in there as well. But I'm running out of room already. But I do love uh, do love my hobby room, and I love this hobby. It's such a great hobby. RC is so much fun. I've been into it since I was in middle school when I bought my uh, Tamaya, Tamiya, Tamaya, whatever you guys call it. I called always called it Tamaya, my Tamaya Hornet. I bought back in uh, middle school, and ever since then, I've been obsessed with RC. I used to go to the uh, airplane club back then when I was in middle school which you know I couldn't afford airplanes back then because it was it was an expensive hobby and all they had really had was gas powered and I used to just go there and watch the guys fly all the time <coughs> and dream and drool of having my own so great memories and just a great great hobby so let me show you the rest of my basement uh, this computer here my daughters use a lot uh, they're on there playing Minecraft all the time. Uh, let's see. Um, over here, well, old DVD collection, DVDs and games, CDs. Uh, over here is my, got my uh, longboards, my daughter's longboards mountain biking which I'm in love with mountain biking as well uh, love mountain biking got my Kona Tanuki and uh, Santa Cruz nickel I uh, lift weights uh, there's a paintball gun got some skateboards uh, I love saltwater fish tanks right now they're kinda kinda looking a little rough I haven't been up keeping them as well as I should down here for all you gamers out there yep I've been into gaming since I was in middle school as well got the old uh, CRT TV there a flat tube and uh, I got all the classic systems I got them all Dreamcast, Super Nintendo, Sega Saturn 8-bit Nintendo, Nintendo 64 GameCube, PlayStation 2, original PlayStation. I got them all. And over here, yes, that's a Virtual Boy. Yes, it is. The epic fail of Nintendo, Virtual Boy. Okay, guys, over there in that corner, uh, <laughs> actually, that stand that the TV's on over there. There was a 150 uh, gallon saltwater aquarium on there and years ago it sprung a leak it was my pride and joy it looks so beautiful um, it sprung a leak and flooded my entire basement full of water but luckily this basement's pretty waterproofed and this floor is and it really didn't uh, it really didn't hurt anything down here but i was heartbroken i was able to save the fish before all the water leaked out but, so recently I just got rid of that tank and I made that stand. I got some wood and some wood and put on top of the stand there because it's hollow. And just turned it into a little TV stand for the kids. There's our main TV down here in the basement. Uh, so over here is my little corner. Uh, this is where I do all my editing. This is, this is my pride and joy over here uh, that computer I've had for well the motherboard I, I changed the motherboard out of that tower I've had that tower a long time and I change you know upgrade every do all the upgrades myself every three or four years but this one this one's been hanging in there a while this uh, Asus motherboard with a uh, triple core phenom uh, but I am due very soon for an upgrade uh, but yeah, this is where I do edit all my videos for my cinematography channel and for the RC Element. Uh, got some cameras there. 
GoPro and the uh, SJ4000. Good little camera. Just some old cameras, magazine rack, old magazines. Oh, that another fish tank that I'm working on. Well, working on getting back in shape. What else? Not too much. Got a camera bag there. Got some old uh, equipment here. Well, the receiver still works well. I got that hooked up to actually these speakers, the uh, some old uh, Poke audio speakers that I use sometimes on there. Uh, it's my microphone, the Yeti Blue Yeti microphone. So yeah, that's my uh, little my little corner. So, that's about it guys, just want to take you on a quick tour of my hobby room and hopefully I'll be, I'll be uh, getting some more cool stuff here soon. So, till next time, the RC Element out.